The bodies coming down from the river outside the country, and I was like in, in, in shock, in total shock. And that I observed there a big change because as many of the random refugees went to, to DRC, that was called Saire at the time. This is why you say mm -hmm. Saire, but in yeah. fact, the name has changed. They, they, there, there was hundreds of thousands of people and, and hundreds of NGOs trying to manage the guilt of not being, having been able to react or not having reacted to mm -hmm. the genocide. So you have a lot of people with goodwill and with very little knowledge. So, so they did not do a good work, even if their intentions was the best. And the consequences of that was two things. There's fair standards. Yeah. So there are standards. If you want to do something, you need to have quality. Mm -hmm. And the second element was all the training programs on humanitarian aid. That does not exist before. Yeah. People like me that went to humanitarian aid were like abandoning society because it was not a profession and it had no future. It was like becoming a noon, you know, mm. and, and, and since 1994, it becomes it becomes a profession because there are studies and all these type of things. It helps the vulnerable. It keeps the world safe and it improves health. And that mm. translates on, on, on helping the vulnerable in practice to extend universal coverage so people have access to health. Um, keeping the world safe is about preventing, preparing and responding to emergencies. And among that, what we are doing now for COVID and Ebola and so many things. And, uh, a, and improving health is not really about health services. It's about the health determinants, about the nutrition. It's about the mental health. It's about the environment. It's about these type of things. So these are the three areas where WHO works. And I work in emergency. So as emergencies has the prevention, the preparedness, and the response, I work in the response it's as an acute response. Number one, it's going to be very expensive. Number two, you are not going to be able to fund it. But number three, you are going to destruct a lot of local capacities. So you have to, to, to approach it in a different way. And I'm working on that different way, an approach of, of protracted crisis that delivers health services, but builds as much as possible on the pillars of the local health system. A recurrence of certain diseases here, like, like yellow fever, like uh -huh. um, uh, measles, like cholera, uh, that people here are good on responding because the, there is a recurrence, you know? So the, the risk is higher, but also the, the, the response is recurrent. So while for Europe, this might be a surprise of something that never happens, uh -huh. uh, here, here there is a dynamic. And in fact, the reason why it never happens in Europe is because people have a, a very short memory. It has happened many times. There have been, in the year 166, there was the Antonin Plague and so on and so forth. So let's say that uh, it happens, but memory is short. And